Digikey. Uh, great search brought to you by Digikey and Adafruit. Thank you, Digikey. Every single week, Lady Ada is your power of engineering. Help you. Yes, you find the things that you need on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week? Okay, so this week, oh, you know what? It's funny. I forgot to grab my solder tip. So hold on. Let me just carefully. All right. We interrupt, this. we interrupt this to show a sale graphic. Don't forget, sale graphic. Yeah. Still sale graphic. Yeah, let's be up on Monday. All the way till end of the day on Monday, in case you're wondering. We're still doing the sale. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Lady will return. I can't, I can't bring the, the fine pitch tip, but I can show some other tips. So, um, uh, so I saw this, you know, whenever I'm doing the great search, I, I have a couple things that I'm going to do that I, for my designs. But I thought this was actually a really good um, great search because a common... Um, thing I suggest to people and they don't understand why is I say, oh, you know, it doesn't matter if you necessarily get like an official best high quality $500 Metcal, but whatever you do get really good tips for your iron. The tips are actually kind of the most important part. Um, and this person who posted uh, shows why. So there's an image and um, the solder, you know, this is a blade tip. So the one on the top, you see it's pitted and blackened and the one on the bottom is nice and shiny. So if you're not getting real tips you're like oh, i'm gonna save a couple bucks and you get like you know two dollar solder tips they are um you know especially using with them let with lead free which is higher temperature the metal is going to um get damaged and the the coating isn't hardened uh and as you use it it'll wear away and eventually you will lose that um shiny cover that lets it conduct um heat to your uh, electronic components and um, won't work anymore and you'll be sad and you'll be like how come I hate soldering so much um, so it's really important to make sure that you get good quality tips so I'll show some uh, tips on the overhead real fast these are like really used these are obviously not brand new um, but in addition to like pointy tips um, this is a Here, let me auto focus. Whoops. Actually, hold on. I know. I'll put these on here. And then I'll auto focus and zoom. Zoom. Oh my goodness. Look at how it's zooming. Okay. So, this is a hoof tip. Uh, again, these are like, they're, these are the black spots. It's just oxidized uh, flux. It's, they're, they're actually, um, these are very uh, clean, good quality tips. Um, so the hoof tip, good for drag soldering, um, for QFPs or QFNs. I'll admit, I don't, I don't do drag soldering as much. It's a stylistic thing. Some people like to do it. Um, but hoof tips will hold a little bit of solder on the tip, uh, there, but still be, you know, a fine, um, a small amount. So you won't get as much bridging. Uh, of course your standard screwdriver tip, um, you know, in general, the, uh, uh, shorter the tip, the better the heat conduction. So stubby, and you see this is nice and shiny, and it's got the screwdriver. There's a little oxidation on there from, you know, flux or whatever, or some plastic. Um, stubby, shiny, and, uh, you know, nice edge that will be used for he conducting heat. This is, uh, this is kind of neat. This is a um, resistor remover tip. So it looks like it's like, oh, no, what happened? Is it busted? No, it's actually on purpose. This is, a, I think, a 603 remover. So the tip is exactly the same distance as, well, this is an 0805 resistor. Let me see if I have to find something with 0603. Hold on. Yeah. So this is the same distance as an 0603, so you can heat up both sides easier, uh, and then you flick it off. So good for rework, uh, for removal, not for placement. And then, um, one of my favorites these are expensive but oh so nice when you um are hot bar soldering um oleds or reworking or removing large components you want to heat up all the pit pads of a, a soac 28 at a time or a tqfp 100 you know this it will do the job these are you can see this big uh chunky part here is what retains the heat um, to get it to the blade. So, you know, these are going to be more expensive, um, but these are very, very nice, especially if you're, if you do a lot of big rework, uh, it's, it's definitely worth the price. And then of course, um, fine pitch tips as well, which 
you know, I'll, I'll show better on DigiKeys uh, just uh, for SMT work. So let's go. Um, so can you go back to that uh, person's? Um, so they're looking for T15. Uh, so if you go to DigiKey, for any iron you have, you're going to be able to get tips. And I always recommend getting like a couple extra ones, um, especially of the very pointy um, SMT, like fine pitch one, because that one is the one that's going to, um, the, pit, the tip is so small, it's the most likely to get damaged and eventually it will wear away um, the coating and you'll want to replace it or you won't be able to conduct heat very well. Uh, so you can go to the computer. Okay, so we can just look for hat going in general. Of course, you can buy soldering irons, um, a variety of them, and um, the assemblies and the pieces, all in this beautiful purple and uh, yellow colorway. Um, you know, I think the FX series is what I have, the FX888. Maybe this is a different... Oh, these are tweezer handles. Sorry. Oh, those are for like, you know, you can get like tweezers and you can like grab parts. This is also really good for rework. Um, soldering. Okay. I guess they go with it all together. So let's go to just the active. And let's go for in stock. We'll just to minimize. Um, so tons of tips. So the T18 tips, those are used for the FX888 stations, which is what I recommend for beginners because they're about a hundred bucks. Um, so you see here square, you know, I'll, I'll tell you another thing. This is definitely a place where I sort by most popular down because the most popular tips are gonna have the most in stock. Um, the D24 2.4 millimeter inch wide screwdriver or the 1.6 inch screwdriver or the 3.2. 3.2 is like for chunky through hole. For like fine through hole, either the D24 or D16 will do fine. Um, and then this is uh, this is the finest pitch one that you can get for the Hakko. Um, it's you know, the, the B, which I would recommend honestly if you're if you're gonna get a uh, FX88. It doesn't come with one of um, sorry, it doesn't come with a B. It comes with a screwdriver, I think a, a D24 or D16. So you'll definitely want to pick up a couple of these uh, for SMT work, um, soldering small components, or even I like to drag solder with a, a fine tip. Um, here's another fine tip. This is 0. 0.8 inch, sorry, 0. 0.8. I don't know the difference between these, 0. 0.8. And... These are very similar. It's, it's the same. Another thing that's interesting is um, if you're buying tips for... Um, Oh, an angle tip. I don't tend to use these, but some people like them. Ooh, this one's like very fine pitch. But no, because this is so narrow and thin, you're not going to get a lot of heat at the tip there. Like this is for, um, you're going to be very frustrated for trying to do a lot of soldering with the tip, this this uh, pointy. Not for these Metcal tips, but for some tips, the temperature of the iron is set by the tip, not by the body of the iron, So or the like the temperature making like whatever the base the brains on hackos you have a, a dial that you turn and you set the temperature so if you're using lead free versus leaded solder you would change you know the temperature 7 750 versus 650 but if you're using something like a metcal or some other like high-end um soldering irons the tips themselves are what sets the temperature um because they have the measuring the temperature measuring element and that will determine the the um, temperature that the tip is at. Just watch out because you might be, if you get leaded versus lead free, you might be going above or under temperature. But um, none of these, all of these hacko tips are, are passive style. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. And then this is kind of cool. It's like a, whoa, this is like a cartridge offset. Oh, this is a desoldering nozzle. Oh, I see there's a vacuum. So there's a heating element and then there's a vacuum so you can heat and suction at the same time. And then this is the T15 series. So this is, I guess, for a different um, iron than what I'm used to, because these are these are like you know these are like these these type, types of tips where um, they poke in and the heating element is within um, the tip itself, which makes them a little bit more expensive. Low cost tips, they're just metal and they go around the heating element, but they don't necessarily make very good like they make okay contact, but they don't make like fused bonded contact. So these are going to get um, just faster heat up 
better uh, thermal conductivity, better heat transfer. Um, but I'd say, you know, if you have your classic HACO compatible or HACO uh, soldering iron, I'd say pick up these to start and um, get like two. You know, they're 10 bucks a piece, but they'll, they last a very, very long time. Um, you know, I think I have my FX88 that I use almost every day. And I've had one of these B tips. I only change them out every like maybe once a year or twice a year. Um, so good quality tips are worth it for sure. And that's the great search. That's a great search. Where